Hello everyone, in this video we're going to solve mass mass problems. In number one, calculate the number of grams of hydrochloric acid needed to react with 10 grams of zinc. So first step, we need to create a chemical reaction. So from zinc to hydrochloric acid. So zinc metal, zinc metal plus hydrochloric acid reacts to zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas so we need to balance it so let's put a two coefficient here so in zinc let's have a one subscript hydrogen gas has two subscript and chlorine gas has two subscript too so it is perfectly balanced then we have a 10 grams of zinc 10 grams of zinc so mass of zinc is equals to 10 grams of zinc and then we need to calculate the molar mass of hydrochloric acid which is 1.008 plus 35.45 equals to 1.008 plus 35.45 so it's 35 36.458 grams per mole of hydrochloric acid and then how about the formula mass of zinc zinc is equals to 65.38 grams per mole of zinc but the question is calculate the number of grams of HCl so we need to calculate the mass of HCl in terms of grams so mass of HCl is equals to 10 grams of zinc times the formula mass of zinc which is 65.38 so divided by 65.38 grams of zinc and then one mole of zinc and the ratio mole the ratio mole of zinc which is one mole of zinc so you need to see in chemical reaction which is one mole okay you need to put one mole here one mole of zinc and then two moles of hydrochloric acid which is here Right, two moles of hydrochloric acid times the molecular weight of hydrochloric acid so one mole of hydrochloric acid and times the grams of hydrochloric acid 36.458 grams of hydrochloric acid so we need to cancel by its grams and grams and the moles and the moles and cancel by moles of HCl so the left is the grams of hydrochloric acid so mass of hydrochloric acid equals so 10 divided by 65.38 times 2 times 36.38 so equals 11.15 so 11.15 grams of hydrochloric acid so this is the final answer okay did you get it and the next problem is number two a sample of lead lead to sulfide has a mass of 30 grams and contains 10% of inert so 10% of inert material what is the mass of pure lead to sulfide so this is the impure substance impure substance okay if just a percent meaning impure substance okay so let's begin ah 10% 
So, 10%, you need to subtract 100%. So, 100% minus 10% is equals to 90%. So, convert 90 to decimal. So, 90 divided by 100, which is 0 0.90. So, you need to calculate the gas inert material. So, gas inert material gas inert material is equals to equals to we have a given 30 grams right 30 grams okay 30 grams of lead 2 sulfide times you need to multiply by percent 0 0.90 is equals to 30 times 0 0.90 equals to 27 grams of grams of pure lead to sulfide so that's the answer okay did you understand it okay okay let's continue number three